Hi everybody, it's me, Mike Celestino from LaughingPlace.com, and I just got back from downtown Disney District where they're doing this week-long shopping event for annual pass holders where you can go and buy Avengers Campus merchandise for the first time, uh, including this very, very cool Spider-Man spider bot from the upcoming Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure attraction. Uh, and there's what that looks like. We're going to take a, a closer look at this as I unbox it and try it out. It's got a remote control. There's the bottom side, but we're going to take a closer look at that in a minute. Uh, first, I wanted to show off some of the other stuff that I picked up. They also were selling this patch from the Spider-Man attraction. And this says uh, Web, the Worldwide Engineering Brigade, Web Labs, California Workshop. So they are, in fact, uh, tying in Avengers Campus to the concept of California for Disney California Adventure. This was 10 bucks. And it says on the back, customize your style with removable patches. Do not adhere to skin. Okay, so, uh, but that's cool from the upcoming Spider-Man attraction at California Adventure. And then I also grabbed a uh, Avengers Campus and a silly crazy straw, whatever, with Guardians of the Galaxy stars, Rocket Raccoon, and little baby Groot there. He's holding the awesome mix, Peter Quill's mixtape. So that's kind of neat. You can see that. And then finally, my purchase came with Complimentary it came with a giant size button commemorating the opening of Avengers Campus, which was supposed to open this past summer. We would have been in there by now had this year gone the way we all wish it had went. Uh, but unfortunately, now Avengers Campus is delayed probably until the parks are ready to open, are allowed to open here in Southern California. So we'll have to wait for that. But for now, it's very cool to have this piece, this commemorative piece of uh, memorabilia that came with my purchase today as an annual pass holder. And uh, starting Friday, anyone can go to downtown Disney District and I think in Disney California Adventure where Buena Vista Street is open and you can pick up some of this Avengers Campus merchandise for yourself. It won't just be limited to annual pass holders uh, with the reservation at that point. But let's take a look now. We're going to take a closer look at the spider bot from Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure. Here we go. Okay, first let's take a look at the packaging here. It says spider bot interactive remote control bot, ages eight and up. It looks pretty cool in the packaging, that's for sure. They designed a nice little kind of crate type thing to put this in. And this says on the back, designed by... Worldwide Engineering Brigade, or WEB, Worldwide Engineering Brigade, with the little spider symbol. There's the side, there's the other side, there's what it looks like from the top, and then on the bottom we've got a lot more writing. It says, Spiderbot features remote controlled, 360 degree movement, works with tactical upgrades, sold separately. Hmm, that's interesting. Battle game play. Projector shield, light up eyes, crouching, sounds. Every hero needs a friendly sidekick to help protect their neighborhood. This spider bot battles enemies with programmed combat and defensive abilities to fight just like a spider. I'm sure this will uh, feature in to the attraction as well once we get to ride that. Battle gameplay with other spider bots. You can see here other spider bots sold separately. It says invented by Peter Parker. And then there's a remote diagram, deluxe blaster, deluxe blaster ammo, digital life meter, standard blaster, self-destruct, left, right, projector shield, crouch, forward, back. There's battery instructions, battery replacement, choking hazard, and then battery diagram, remote battery diagram, Marvel logo. It was 80 bucks. There was no annual pass discount on that this week at the very least. Let's start opening this up here. I think we gotta turn these uh, levers. And the box comes out of the crate. And then I'm gonna slice open the tape here on the bottom.
And there we have it, the spider bot. And this is what he looks like initially after getting him out of the crate and the box. 360 view there. Very cool. Let's take him out of this little plastic container there now. Okay, the spider bot is free from his restraints. There's what he looks like on the underside. Cool uh, eyes that look like they're going to light up. A lot of moving parts here. We're going to finish opening the box and get the remote control out of here. Okay, here's the remote. Lots of buttons to press. Kind of just looks like a video game controller. This only moves up and down on the left side here. This moves right and left. Got the bumpers on the left and right as well. There's an on and off switch on the back. Then I'll open up the instruction manual here. Spider Bot Interactive Remote Control Bot Getting Started. Pairing steps, sleep mode, battle gameplay, digital life meter, deluxe blaster. Let's try some of this out. First, I'm going to see if there's actually batteries in here. And if not, we'll have to put some batteries in. Okay, so I've unscrewed the bottom of the spider bot and the back of the remote control. And there are, in fact, batteries included with the spider bot. Three double A's for the spider bot and two triple A's for the remote. So let me screw these back on and we'll go ahead and try testing this out. Okay, so the instruction manual says getting started. We need to attach the SpiderBot dome and turn on. So the dome's already on the top. So we gotta flip him over and turn him on. SpiderBot online. Okay, <laughs> that's simple enough. SpiderBot online. Pairing steps. Turn on SpiderBot first and then turn on remote. Lights and sounds will indicate pairing is complete. So we're going to flip this over and turn on the remote. Sounded like uh, pairing is complete. Sleep mode. SpiderBot will go to sleep if not activated for five minutes. Must turn SpiderBot to off position and then turn back on to position to on position to re-energize SpiderBot back to full function modes. Battle gameplay. Well, let's not worry about the battle right now. Let's just worry about the standard movement here. So I'm just going to... I'm guessing he's not intended to be on a carpet like this. I can get him to turn left and right. And backing up seems to work. Forward is not great on the carpet, so we may have to remove the carpet and... Try it without it. He's having some trouble on the carpet. Let's try it without it. Okay, the carpet is gone. Let's see if this works a little bit better here. A bit. Backwards is better than forwards, I have to say. Maybe not designed for hardwood floor either. I'm gonna try it outside. Okay, maybe here on the pavement it's gonna do a little bit better. Here, let's try to go forward. Yeah, better. Back backwards works so much better than forwards. It's a bit better. And turn left and right. Yeah, we get better movement going backwards. The turns are okay. He kind of has trouble shuffling forward. Yeah, so I'm back inside here, and I don't know. I don't think it has a great forward mobility. The turns are okay. Backwards is... Okay. 
Or, I don't know, I guess maybe this is how it's supposed to go. It just kind of gradually makes its way forward. <laughs> it sure makes a lot of noise, that's for sure. It squeaks, it squeaks a lot on the hardwood floor. And his eyes do glow blue. So that's kind of cool. Just want to show you the uh, glowing lights up close. I'm going to try the crouch button, which is this. That makes him crouch. So he's protected from the standard blaster if you're fighting against one of the other spider bots. The right, right turn and backwards, I think, are best. Um, so I guess if you're battling, you're going to use this life meter here. These five red LEDs represent the life. And then um, you've got a blaster. You press this Left bumper. Oh, his lights, his eyes flash red to fire. And then the standard blaster, that was the deluxe blaster on the left, and then the standard is on the right. That just fires the two little LEDs above the eyes there. And you get three fires on the deluxe blaster, so that has uh, used all of them. Then there's a self destruct button. Let's see what that does. It's basically where the start button would be on a video game controller. I'm going to press this. Self-destruct in three, two, one. <laughs> so that just makes the uh, the dome pop off there. So let's place that back on. Ah. Okay, so you got to you gotta turn them off, then replace the dome after you've turned them back on to reset them back to the beginning with no damage. You know, here is all his uh, health is back there. Well, it doesn't seem like I can fire the... Oh, okay, so we gotta turn the remote off again and then back on to reset that connection. And we have all the deluxe blasters back. All the health is there. This button, the top of these two horizontal buttons, activates the projector shield. Oh, okay, so that, you can see here it's projecting a spider logo on the floor. So that acts as a shield against the standard blaster, it says, if you're fighting against one of the other bots. So, really to get the most out of this, you need yourself and a buddy to have one so you can try out the battle mode and everything but if it's just you all you can really do is go backward forward and turn left and right and then self-destruct self-destruct in three two one <laughs> and then um so it says tactical upgrades. These are some of the upgrades you're going to be able to get. Unique sounds, light colors, projector shields, and custom attributes. So it's kind of like the droids you would get at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, but in Avengers Campus, and you'll be able to buy these different looks for them and different upgrades and stuff. So that's cool. You know, it's another way to customize and spend a little bit more money to make your your spider bot different from the one that you get as the standard version all right so that's the spider bot from Avengers Campus designed by Webb the worldwide engineering brigade and Peter Parker who uh, you know it's no secret to us that he is in fact spider-man I guess the secrets out if you've seen the end of uh, Far From Home. Oh, 
he just shut down there. Anyway, uh, it's a fun toy. It doesn't walk that great for me. At least my copy of it has a little bit of trouble walking forward. But he gets there. It's just a little bit of a struggle. So maybe uh, each one's going to have a, a differing ability to walk forward. But it seems like turning and going backwards is fine. Just walking forward, it, it struggles a little bit. Otherwise, it seems uh, pretty cool and pretty fun. I'm sure it's going to make more sense to us. This spider bot is going to be featured in the Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure attraction at Avengers Campus. Whenever that does finally open, hopefully sometime uh, within the next year. Otherwise, uh, this is Mike Celestino from LaughingPlace.com. Thanks so much for watching. See you real soon. Bye!